In addition to sending out regular stat sheets and emails, the SIB has scheduled six press conferences in 2014. It's a new initiative designed to allow the SIB to reach out to the public, making data more accessible, understandable, and user-friendly. That's a good thing by any estimation, since figures and percentages are a foreign language to many. Today, director of the Institute, Glenn Aviles, opened the conference with the news that exports have decreased while imports have grown. We had a very strong increase in imports in 2013 compared to other years. In 2013, we imported a total of $1.9 billion worth of goods from the rest of the world. This is an increase of 8%, or roughly $133 million. Right? Uh, when compared to the previous years, it was a much higher performance, a stronger performance. Imports increased in all areas with the exception of oils and fats. The sectors showing the most significant increases were machinery and transport equipment. Domestic exports, on the other hand, have decreased, largely because of a decline in oil production. Unlike imports, they contracted in 2013. Exports were at their highest level in 2011. And in 2012, they dipped. Well, they fell. It was more than a dip. And again, in 2013, there was another fall. This fall was 8%, uh, almost matching the growth in imports. Uh, the decrease in our export revenues were largely due to lower uh, oil and citrus receipts. In fact, these two products uh, combined for $90 million uh, less revenues Areas which showed the strongest performance in export revenue were marine products and animal feed. Imports increased by 8%, while exports fell by 8%, making for what economists call a widening trade imbalance. Doesn't sound like a positive thing, but there is some positive news. Inflation was up by only 0.5% when averaged out between 2012 and 2013. We have a basket of 260 goods and services, which our officers in the back and some who are not present here today, uh, collect on at least a quarterly basis. We have food prices and fuel prices which are collected monthly, so we can monitor the change in these goods. Price collection occurs in all urban areas, uh, with the exception of Benke Viejo and San Pedro Ambergris Key. So Corozal is covered, Corozal Tong, Orange Walk Tong, Belize City, Bamapan, uh, Dangriga, Punta Gorda. Any place missed? San Ignacio. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, between, and this is a point to point change, between December 2012 and December 2013, the CPI increased by 1.6%. 1.6% averaged out over the calendar year amounts to a mere 0.5%. And see, that's where perception and figures meet in a head-on collision. Widespread belief is that the cost of goods and services continues to go up, which makes inflation of only 0.5% seem incredible or maybe even manufactured. What we have the benefit of is that we do price collection in all parts of the country, right? People will talk to you about their individual situations. And yes, a number of goods have been seen an increase over the years, particularly food items. Food items um, are now about three, I think 3.6% 3 higher than they were last year, right? But if you would talk to persons, those same persons, about items like clothing, right, which has remained constant or for the most part has been falling, right? That is to be considered. And there are quite a number of goods whose prices have not changed um, over that period. So we have the extremes of some goods increasing, I think in your 
kit. Uh, there are a few examples of some goods having double-digit um, increases. And then there are those that have fallen uh, during the year. And then you have, in the middle, a large number of goods whose prices have remained relatively flat. And so, doing the simple math of averaging a thousand zeros, or sorry, we only have six, 260 items, but let's say there are 75 items whose prices have remained flat at zero. It cancels out those that have been increasing by 10%, 8%, and so you end up with uh, the 0.5%. According to Avilis, Belize's current inflation rates are consistent with those in Canada and the U.S., which have gone down. Mike Rodon for News 5.